today I wanted to play with clean makeup from Sephora. This is by the brand Ilia. So let's start with their primer. This right here is their True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. It's firming, it's smoothing, anti-pollution, and anti-pollution. <laughs> This right here retails for $52. You do have to shake it up. And they're saying three to four pumps and then really pat this primer into your skin and then wait at least two minutes before applying any kind of makeup. So three to four drops. Two, three, four. Okay, has a little bit of a scent. I'm not sure what this smells like. Kind of reminds me of something. And it definitely feels like a nice serum. Has a little bit of tackiness. And they're saying you're supposed to see a visible difference. I do see a tiny bit of radiance right here and on the tops of my cheeks, but it looks pretty even throughout. It didn't color correct anything, so I'm not really seeing a difference or a benefit in this primer just yet, especially for $52. Let's move on to the foundation. So their foundation, this is their True Skin Serum Foundation. So this right here retails for $54 each. I have two shades. I have shade SF1 and SF1.5. What is this foundation all about? It's a medium coverage. It's a serum infused foundation with a radiant skin-like finish and a feather, feather weight feel. So let's try SF1. I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit just to really see the color. Oh wow, okay, it's a little on the orange side. And this is their second to lightest shade. And then this is Mallorca, which is the third lightest shade. And this one's even more yellow. So you can see the foundation, it's quite liquidy. And right away you can see that it's very radiant. It's very lightweight. It blends really easily, very seamlessly. I'm having no issues. But the one thing I might have an issue with this product is longevity. It's just really just sitting there on the skin. It's blended in, but you can really see the product on the face. Like it looks dry, but it's radiant. All right, I do wanna kind of prep my lips. They do have this balmy gloss tinted lip oil. This retails for $26. I picked shade only you. And this right here, it's hydrating, it's plumping, it has hyaluronic acid, it's gluten free, and it's supposed to leave your lips soft, smooth, and anything but sticky. Oh, mm, color is really pretty. Okay. I like the applicator. It's like a really long dofa applicator. It's really nice and soft really comfortable to apply. Hmm, it's not sticky at all. All right, so let's move on to the brows. They only have one eyebrow product. This is their Essential Brow Natural Volumizing Brow Gel. I got shade medium brown, fluffs and fills for a natural, fuller looking finish. This looks a little too dark, but it looks like it's not too intense. Yeah, you can see it's a very, very minimal amount of payoff. And it's like creating these tiny little spots from the product, so it's not looking good. I'm gonna give a big pass on this already. So let's just move on straight to the eyes from the eyebrows. I picked up their The Necessary Eyeshadow Palette. It's talc-free plus vitamin E, and this retails for $38, and I got the Cool Nude. So you get some mattes, you have satins, and then metallics. Let's go in with this shade right here, which is called Infinity. Swatching pretty good, but it's a little bit drying. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more creamy. So it's going on pretty good. It's pretty smooth. It looks like it's not having a hard time blending out, but it's definitely a lot more warm toned on the eyes versus in the pan. You can see such a huge difference. Look at that. Such a difference. It looks like it's blending really good but it definitely doesn't have that wow factor. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take these two darker shades. They both look matte. I'm gonna work that in the outer corner. I'm gonna take this shade, shade right here, the lightest shade. I'm gonna try to work it just a little bit right here above the crease. I'm gonna try to wet that first shade <laughs> and see if I can get a little more payoff. That looks a little bit better than this side right here. It has a little more umph to it. Just the one thing I'm kind of concerned that this may, might make it crease a lot faster. Let's move on to their eyeliner. This is their Clean Line Liquid Liner. It's carbon black free. 
and this retails for $28 in shade Midnight Express, which is black. It's a liquid eyeliner with an ultra fine tip for precise definition and smudge proof all day wear. Okay, so this is a very fresh eyeliner. It's very fluid, very black. I am gonna wait for this to dry down and try to go over it and see if I'm able to layer. The one thing I will say, the felt tip is very, very stiff and there's no bending to this felt tip. <laughs> I will say that's a good and a bad thing. Good thing is you can be really precise when you draw straight on, like so, you can be very precise. But also when you're going sideways, it's a little bit harder. You have to be a little bit more careful and cautious of where you place the pen just because it's not really bending with your eye. Let's move on to mascara. I've had this in my collection for a while now. This is their Limitless Lash Lengthening Mascara. It's $28 and it's a clean award winning cult favorite mascara that lifts lengthens and holds curl and separates with precision. I do enjoy this mascara. I don't think it's long wearing. I like it that it lengthens, it does separate, but I don't find that it holds my curl as well as other mascaras. Let's move on to concealer. This is their True Skin Serum Concealer. It's smoothing and brightening. This concealer retails for $30 each. This is already going up to like Dior prices, Hourglass prices, Lancome. This is a very expensive concealer, so it better perform. This is a creamy ultra lightweight serum concealer that evens and brightens the look of skin over time with vitamin C. It has a nice doe foot applicator. Okay, it looks like it's blending in pretty nice with this brush that I have. And I've been, if you've noticing, I've been using these brushes right here with this green handle. This is by Spectrum, and this is the collaboration that they did with Katie Jane Hughes. They still have this, and they are amazing brushes. They are so good, worth every single penny. I literally wanna buy another set just to have as a backup. All right, so it definitely brightened a lot just because I did use the lightest shades, but it did also kind of like lift the under eye area in a way. I don't look as tired. <laughs> and it definitely provided a really decent amount of coverage. I'm really happy about that, but I did layer the concealer. Let's move on to blush and highlighter because they're sticks and they're cream. So these right here are their multi-stick cheek and lip. Has a natural finish. They're fragrance free. It gives a healthy flush of hydrating color on the go. Buildable, blendable, and breathable. $34. I picked up three shades. So we have All of Me. Ooh, very, very, very pale. Feels nice and creamy. This one is really pretty. It's called I Put a Spell on You. Beautiful coral. Again, it's gonna give you more of like a wash of color, which this color is actually really, really, really stunning. And then last but not least, Tenderly. Oh yeah, wow, that's really pretty too. <laughs> okay, what do I wanna use? I think I might wanna mix maybe the coral. Oh, hold up, I actually think I have two more other shades in their other formula. This right here is their Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment Cheek and Lip. And this right here retails for $32. This is a satin finish. It's a game-changing cream blush and lip color in one. It stays dewy on cheeks and transforms to a modern matte finish on the lips. So this shade right here is Temptation. Oh wow, these are definitely way more pigmented. And then we have one more called Waking Up. So you know what, let's go with both. Let's try this formula and this formula. I'm just gonna go draw this straight onto my face just because I usually don't. So just let's just go for it. And using my finger, help blend this in. And yeah, like right away, this is a super sheer wash of color. Perfect for those like no makeup makeup days. So let's go in with this color right here, which is Temptation. There we go. It's a little bit more product on the cheeks. All right, let's move on to their highlighter. This right here is their Illuminator. $34 as well. I have shade Polka Dots and Moonbeams. Let's swatch it. Ooh, this is not as creamy, definitely not as pigmented and definitely not as intense. Maybe it's gonna look better on the cheeks. Okay, I really worked this into the brush, like really worked it in and I don't see it. 
it's not giving me that oomph. I feel like I'm getting more dew from the blush itself, not the highlighter. <sighs> Should be the other way around, you know? Let's set the face. I picked up their Soft Focus Finishing Powder, $34. This is a clean, talk-free setting powder that weightlessly blurs, smooths, and cuts shine with a soft focus finish that won't flash back. And this is a translucent powder. Okay, it definitely sets the under eye area. It's not as radiant anymore. It's definitely a little more smooth. Wow, it definitely blurred the pores a lot. They look very diffused. I feel like there is still a little bit of a dew happening underneath the setting powder from that blush. That's really pretty. Okay, this product is actually wowing me right now. For bronzer, we have their Night Light Bronzing Powder. It's talc free, $34. It's super creamy bronzing powder that gives you a just got back from the beach look. Let's see how intense this is. I'm going a little bit higher than right in the hollows of my cheekbones because it's a little bit of a warmer, warmer color. Looks like it's blending in really, really, really nice, actually. And the color is really pretty. Now that we're down to the lips, I want to say one thing about this lip oil. It's really pretty. It's really nice and comfortable. My lips feel really nice and hydrated and nourished, but something with this color and the way it's acting on my lips and the way it's drying down, it's creating this really light pink. Do you see that? line on my lips. Ugh, that looks so bad. So let's take this off and move on to the lipsticks. So we're moving on to their high impact lipstick. This one right here is $28. I have four shades. This is their clean handcrafted lipstick with a high impact color and a supreme hydration for all day wear and care. I like that. So it definitely is sounding more of like a reapplying type of a lipstick, but I like that it's a supreme hydration and it takes care of your lips all day long. So I do appreciate that. So the first shade is a, it's called Rosette. Very intense in pigment, very creamy. And it smells pretty good. Next we have Marsala. Next we have Flame, very pretty. And then we have True Red. Ooh, that is pretty. You know what, let's go for these first two colors. Let's take Marsala and like the outer portions of my lips and then we'll take Rosette kind of in the center of the lips and we'll see what that looks like. I feel like because these lipsticks are so pigmented, you definitely want a lip liner underneath. So somehow, well, Andre goes, babe, you're not very, you're not very like soft makeup today. You're very glam actually. <laughs> Somehow we got a very glam look out of this. So I have four products that really stood out to me. The first product was definitely these little blushes right here. I do like how blendable these are, but I like that there is quite a bit of pigment. The next product that really stood out to me was their setting powder. Like my cheeks literally look airbrushed right now. They look so beautiful, even up close. I'm just honestly really impressed even with underneath the eyes, how this looks. And then last but not least for the cheeks, definitely this right here, their bronzer. I'm excited to keep playing with this. I really, really, really like it. And then last but not least, the lipsticks. These are really, really beautiful. They're so creamy. I don't think they're gonna be super long lasting, but maybe they are. But I am gonna take this with me just to see if I really wanna reapply throughout the day. All right, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I will keep you guys updated and I'll see you in a little bit. Doing the first update, we just had a late lunch. I'm looking a little dewy on the forehead. It looks really nice. I actually really like how it looks. The eyes still look really bomb. The mascara has a smudged Eyeliner is still there, but the lipstick is pretty much all gone since we had tacos. But I think the makeup is wearing really beautifully, except for I'm feeling dry and I'm looking dry, like right here. One thing I did want to mention that I almost forgot, eyebrows. They're still holding their spot. They're not going anywhere. They said, I'm here to stay. Yes, that was difficult to work with, but hey, you got me all day, girl. I got your back. Your eyebrows are gonna look bomb. So you're welcome. We have reached the end of the day with the clean makeup from Sephora featuring Ilya. And I have to say it's looking pretty dang good for, I don't know how many hours, at least 12 hours of wear time. I'm pretty impressed. So let's first start with, 
Let's start with like the base products. I'm not seeing any kind of difference with the primer. It was supposed to be radiant. It was supposed to be illuminating and it wasn't. The next thing, the foundation, it still looks quite dry. It never really fully sank into my skin. And maybe that was because of the primer, but they're supposed to be working together in conjunction. But it's just that foundation. When you hear the word serum, you think it's very fluid. It's going to melt into your skin. It's going to look like your skin, but just more even toned. And that's not what happened. For the price, for the performance, I don't like it. Moving on to the eyebrows. They're still there. They haven't budged. The color still looks beautiful. That's the one thing that, like I said in the update, it really blew me away. Really impressed at how well it's wearing. I'm definitely gonna keep using it. And I'm pretty sure in the video I said, I'm not gonna keep using this product. I changed my mind. Moving on to eyeshadow. This is the next product by Ilia that hasn't really moved at all, all day. If I'm being honest, I do see a little bit of creasing right on this eye, but this eye, phenomenal. It's not the best eyeshadow palette. I'm not telling you to run to the store and grab it, but it is a good eyeshadow palette. And without any primer on the eyes, I'm very, very impressed that it hasn't budged, it hasn't creased, it hasn't, it looks still so good. That's what I'm really impressed with. Moving on to eyeliner, still the same thing. It hasn't moved all day. It's nice and black. It's not tight. It was very comfortable all day long. The mascara hasn't transferred to the top eyelid, but it has flaked quite a bit on the lower lash line and a tiny bit of transfer right here, right on the lower lash line. It's not as bad. Like I said, it's that mascara is at least a couple of months old, so it's definitely a drier formula, which I prefer, but because when they're dry, they can flake. <laughs> they're definitely more prone to flaking, which I will take any day over smudging. Moving on to concealer. I kind of like the concealer. I'm definitely gonna keep playing with it. I'm intrigued by this concealer. I liked the formula. I like the way it blended out. I like the coverage and I like how it was sitting on, on my, uh, under my eyes. Like I did say, it looked a little dry and a tad heavy on top of the foundation, but I will, like I said, keep playing with the concealer with my other base products that I really, really, really enjoy, but I did really enjoy the concealer. I reapplied the lip a second time today, you guys saw it on camera, and my lips are dry. The lip color is still there. I'm impressed that it's still there. <laughs> I didn't have a big dinner. I had mostly just very light snacks after our late lunch and then drinks, and lipstick is still there, but it's doing the same thing that the lip oil did. Do you see that line? <laughs> so I'm not impressed at how it's drying my lips out even more. I wish it provided that really intense hydration like it said it would, and it didn't. I will say, check out Ilia. There's some really great products that will surprise you. And then some products that just are not surprising and they're more meh and just not worth the money. But for now, guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you next one very soon. <laughs> Bye.